Hello, my friend, how are you doing? I just want to show you really quickly how you can conduct a Shapiro Wilk test, which is a test that would, that's going to check the, for the normality of your data. Um, and checking for normality is really important for a series of tests, like an ANCOVA, for example. It is an important assumption test or so something you need to check before conducting the actual test, okay? And the Shapiro Wilk is one which is very common, especially when you have small sample sizes. So let me show you really quickly to illustrate this. I have a fictitious data set only to il illustrate to you the example. And it's one with a series of guitar players and their ages. And we want to know if there is a normal distribution. So on our menu, we're going to start on Analyze. So every test in SPSS, you start with Analyze, scroll down to Descriptive, then scroll down to Explore. We're going to click on, exp on Explore. Then this window pops up. We're going to drag here to the dependent list the variable that we would like. So we we'll drag here age guitar players. In statistics, nothing here which is relevant. If we click on plots, then we're going to unclick here stem and leaf. That's not relevant to us. Histogram is very important. And we're going to check also for normality plots with tests. So click continue, click OK. And then we have now our beautiful results. Um, first table here is just a general overview of um, sample size and missing values. Then we have our descriptives. Now, important when you're tracking for normal distribution, here in the end we have skewness and kurtosis. There's another video on the playlist where I explain this a little bit more detail, but essentially you're looking for values between minus one and one. So if the values here are greater than one or greater than minus one, then it's an indication that it's skewed to one side or to the other. So here, all the values are between my negative one and one. So that's good. That's an early indication that you have a normally distributed data. On the second table here, tests of normality, that's where we have our Shapiro-Wilk um, uh, results. Okay, In this last column here, we have our significance value. What we want from our Shapiro-Wilk is that the value is greater than 0.05. Okay, and that's the indication that you have a normally distributed data. So in this case here, it is an indication that it is normally distributed. Okay, so this is what you want. And again, just emphasizing Shapiro-Wilk is very commonly used when you have a fairly small sample size. If we scroll down here to the histogram, what we're looking for is that beautiful bell-shaped curve or something that resembles that beautiful bell-shaped curve, which is an indication of that you have a normal distribution, which is the case here. And if we scroll down to the last graph, um, the Q plot, you have here a central line. And when you have a normal distribution, all of your values will be placed around the central line, which is the case here, which is another indication that you have a normal distribution in your data. OK, so in a nutshell, this is how you check um, uh, for your normal distribution using Shapiro Wilk. Don't forget to have a look on the playlist. Uh, here on Live Innovation channel, there's plenty of other videos um, for you to learn uh, how to use SPSS and conduct different tests, okay? And to finish up, my song recommendation this time is a classical uh, song, which is Mahler's Fifth Symphony. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look from Mahler's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name co correctly, but you check it, Mahler and, and Fifth Symphony. It's absolutely stunning, okay? I wish you a beautiful day. Listen to Mahler and his fifth symphony. All the absolute best. Take care and bye-bye.